Welcome to another episode of Tollerton. Today we're talking about Brain Quest. Yeah, Brain Quest is actually a series of books and other educational materials. Um, this is their workbook series, and each Brain Quest has a different grade level. They actually start at pre K, go to kindergarten, and then up through the elementary grades. Um, the particular one we're showing today is grade two. Now, I don't know about you, but we always try to challenge our child so we don't necessarily buy the level that he's currently enrolled in. We try to challenge him at a higher level. Um, but we've actually used the pre-K and um, kindergarten, excuse me, we've actually used the kindergarten and the first grade ones, even though he's actually not enrolled in those. And they can't do all the activities, but certainly can uh, challenge him. One thing that's neat about BrainQuest is it covers several different um, topics. Yeah, so it does uh, phonics and spelling and vocabulary, reading and writing, cursive and language arts, math skills, addition and subtraction, multiplication and fractions, shapes and measurement, time and money, social studies, and science. Um, the areas will vary slightly depending on the grade level. For instance, you're not going to have spelling in grade 6 and you're not going to necessarily have subtraction in pre-K, so it just kind of varies. But in general, the subjects kind of match up. What's neat about this is it has a lot of activities, so it's not just fully learning. It'll do things to incorporate it. This is, shows a crossword puzzle, um, learning some vocabulary, for example. There are things that would practice your reading and writing. And in that particular instance, you want to do rhyming words that match with C, and then you come up with another one, create a poem, I guess. Right, and over here, for example, you're doing some reading and then also incorporating the rhyming. And then flipping over here, for example, this is a writing exercise, and you're practicing with an actual sentence. Um, here's and then you have problems. math. So there's just a lot of different activities in here. These run about $10 to $12, depending on where you buy them. Our son has a lot of fun with these. In fact, he always asks us to get the next workbook, even if he hasn't finished the existing one. Um, they also have some other, um, I think they have other activities listed here at the side. Mm -hmm. um, these also believe in the reward system, so a lot of times there will be a supplemental um, set of stickers in the back, um, which our son really likes. Um, and you can use them as you see fit as he finishes an activity or just reward him for other activities outside the book. Just wanting to play with the book. Exactly. Um, and usually there's a fold-out item that looks like this particular edition has a map, which is cool. And it also shows you the, flags. Um, the state flags, which is neat. Um, so you can actually um, take that out. Each page is perforated as well, which is cool because that way if you want to take out a separate activity, you can work on that. Um, but again, I think it has a lot of great activities. It's a really long book, so you can u get a lot of use out of this. So there's how many pages? It looks like there are 320 or so pages. Right, and each page is really full of activities. I mean, there are divider pages between the sections, but otherwise, pretty much everything is actual yeah, pages, like it's not just fluff. Full. So, well worth the money, I would say, and we've actually learned a lot using these workbooks for our son has. And if there's one thing that a toddler needs to learn about, it is time, because you want to be able to teach him to look at a clock and say, oh, it's time to... Um, Go to bed. Read or have or, dinner. Or, or wake up in the morning and not wake up before the sun comes up. <laughs> Five o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. Um, although he might spin it on you or she might spin it on you and say, Mama, Papa, it's five o'clock in the morning. And then, although you're really proud, um, you're probably still half asleep. <laughs> so this has always been fun because when there's a, something like writing involved, um, all schools are going to teach uh, your children how to write using a pencil or a crayon or something physical. Um, we like to cross um, learn between writing with a stylus on an iPad and writing in the, on paper with a, a pencil or a crayon. Um, it's important on both sides. One is because the 
with something like an iPad, they can write and write and write. And it doesn't take up any resources. All it does is allow them to learn how to hold the pencil and how to draw the shapes. But on that paper, every time they write, they expend that paper. Um, but it's good for them to get that real world sense of writing. Right. So this is a really great re uh, resource for that. And then on the back here, they show, this actually shows the whole series. Um, actually, I'm sorry, it only goes up to grade four. Um, and again, this, the series or the subjects are pretty similar across there, but they obviously get more advanced in some of the topics add or drop off depending on the appropriateness of the grade level. Um, so we recommend that you try one of these. BrainQuest also makes a lot of other learning materials, but we're particularly fond of the workbooks. So it looks like it's priced at twelve ninety five. Is that how much it really costs in the store? Yes, um, we got it for about twelve dollars, and you can find it almost anywhere. Um, Barnes and Noble carries this series. We actually stumbled on this at Toys R Us when we were there looking for a toy, um, and you can also buy them online, on, for instance, like Amazon. Sounds good. So thanks for stopping by uh, Toddlerton. Uh, this is BrainQuest Workbook Grade 2 for ages 7 and 8. And again, don't necessarily need to buy the grade that your kid is in. No, make it fun, make it entertaining, um, and they can uh, learn advanced uh, subject matter uh, regardless of age. And as long as you keep reinforcing it, they'll recall it. Um, sometimes at those surprising moments while you're on a drive. <laughs> so thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.